my kitchen again this vegetarian being cooked and vegetarian but this is arbi or we call it mundli in the coastal region all of you all are aware that this is normally done in a very crispy way in the north side or wherever it's cooked but today i'm going to treat it like a fish and i'm going to treat it very much a curry which is close to my heart very tasty but exactly like fish in fact as a child my son used to get sometimes bullied by saying that it's fish and you have to eat so on a vegetarian day it comes very handy in my kitchen so let's see how it's done so to begin with we'll have to start boiling the arbis arbis take a little longer time than potatoes to boil so there's a deep pan put it on gas the arbis are nicely washed even if the skin is on add about a cup of water let it come to a boil cover and let it cook till it goes at least half soft and we'll have to grind a masala for it simultaneously okay so let the arbi boil once it starts boiling we'll cover and simmer it for cooking it will take about say 8 to 10 minutes for it to be half done and we'll add the ground masala till it's coming to a boil we'll grind the masala for it the masala is really very simple the key ingredient is tarfara i'll show you when it i come to it so for now i take freshly grated coconut as all my curries are coconut based add little turmeric about half a teaspoon not even half actually just 1/4 and chili powder about a teaspoon some tamarind about a size of a marble arbi is simultaneously boiling so let's cover it and simmer the gas just four ingredients have gone into the masala the tamarind the coconut the chili powder and the turmeric let's add about half a cup of water and grind it to a nice fine paste the masala is ground again a nice bright yellow color let's keep it aside let's keep the mixi aside and the key ingredient in this is this tirfara i don't know how many of you are aware but it's a type of a shenzhen pepper it's green in color when they are fresh and they are dried and kept throughout the year so normally as i said this is a vegetarian preparation we have to soak them before you put them into the curry so let's add a tablespoon of water and just soak them so they impart a little better taste to the curry when they are soaked for about 5 to 6 minutes so the arbi is cooking what we do is we'll add salt to it give it a mix check on them if they are done No, we are not done. It will take another five minutes. So cover and let them cook. The arbi is cooking, as I said, for ten fifteen minutes, and it was almost done. Let's check on it. Yeah, it's done. Now in goes the masala. because the tamarind is there in the masala i cannot add it till the arbis are done because otherwise it stops the cooking process and they won't go soft like i want them now they're just nice and soft and let the masala cook now you need not cover it let it cook for about 2 minutes in the masala then we'll add the tirfara and drizzle it with coconut oil and take it for serving the curries come to a boil so let's add the tirfara which we are kept soaking as i said this is not to be eaten but it gives a lovely smell and flavor to the gravy and let's drizzle it with some coconut oil as you saw we have not tempered this curry we have not added any temper so just drizzling with coconut oil will really add lot of flavor to the curry shut the gas 
and now we can take it for serving. It's nice orange in color, so I've taken a very earthen black uh, plate for serving. I think it's going to look just beautiful and going to give a drastic look to it. The gravy is served. I will just add a little color with the coriander. You again serve it with just steamed rice. And it was one of my mom-in-law's favorite, very close to my heart, that how the Sunday is to be very pleasing to her and to my family with this combination of fish and the arbi curry. So definitely make it in your kitchen. And if you're vegetarian, definitely try it. I'm saying it's really awesome and you can't imagine that it's made from arbi. So make it for your family and get back to me. Hit the like button, subscribe and share this recipe with friends if you like.